Hello, this is Angie. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before and welcome back if you have been, it's great to see you. Today I'm going to be doing a small whip and chat and working on this canvas from Diamond Art Club. This is Abundant Dreams from the artist Dimitra Milan in round. It is 56 by 56. And today I'm going to be using my trays that I have made for my diamond painting pens. And I am in the process of opening my actual Etsy shop. But if you're interested in buying a tray from me, you're welcome to join the Sparkle Addiction group where I'm currently dropping trays in. This white one is actually available right now if you're interested. In the meantime, this pen I'm going to be using is from Creations Delbo, one of our event sponsors for Sparkle Addiction. I have a glue dot in one end and putty in the other. This is my Sparkle pen from Crafted Makes, also on Etsy. And it's also another pen sponsor that is in Sparkle Addiction. And if you're interested in joining in on Sparkle Addiction, you can join now. Do you, all you have to do is fill in the Google Doc, take your current whip, and as long as it's not horror and it's happy and colorful, or, you know, a winter scene, Christmas, summer, <laughs> anything like that, you're welcome to join. You just have to switch out a drill and put in... Um, an AB, a crystal, or something. And they don't have to be brand new. They can be leftovers from another kit. I'm also having my coffee. So the links for that will be down below. And I'm hosting that with Deb the Crafty Diamond and her channel will also be down below. And we're doing weekly giveaways both in Facebook and in our two channels, so that's at least three chances to win every week. We are so, so fortunate to have all the sponsors we have. We thought that I was behind because of all my grief and everything, and we thought we weren't going to have um, very many sponsors, and we were going to, you know, do our own prizes, but we were just, just, oh, I'm just covered in sparkles. <laughs> I've been making trays this morning. Can you guess what color I was making? I'm making green and I'm going to make silver. So I was touching them. So yeah, I am getting ready to open my shop. I'm just solidifying the name. I've got to order some business cards and I am so, so grateful to those of you who have been able to buy a tray from me. Uh, I know that uh, this is a hard time sometimes for people this time of year and I'm not pressuring anyone to buy. I know they can buy one day if they want to or they may not be into diamond painting trays. You're still welcome here. I'm still a diamond painting channel and I still love to bling all the things. And that's what led me to create <laughs> exactly this. Look at the bling on this, this one. This is my baby. I'm keeping this one for me. This is my uh, my winter tray that I'm using. And it has a matching little um, mini, mini drill bin, which I also put more bling in because this is just for me. Do you like it? <laughs> and I also have the white one, which is full of opal bling and 3D sort of 3D snowflakes on the top, but they're very small, so they don't interrupt putting your pen and things on there. That one's available. And I think I have another one, a purple snowflake tray also available. So I won't go on and on about that. I am drinking coffee though. I just need to find my Bella Art tray that I was going to use today. This is a white tray from Bella Art Dana Cool. And I like this tray. I will probably also be using my most recent purchase from Shiny Shaza, this super cool rainbow tray. Look at that color on that. They are also a sponsor for the event. I also have a pen that I'm just waiting for from Creation Moran, who is also sponsoring a surprise pen. What that means is she's going to make a blank, a special blank for the event but you get to choose how big the pen is. So you, whether you like slim, medium, or big. Isn't that awesome? I think that's, 
that's cool because then you win what you want. And Crafted Mix also has a pen that'll be coming up at the end of December. I'm just waiting for a video of it. And he is going to make a sparkle pen and he has some really great sparkle pens on his site. So all the links are down below. So let's get into our first color. 775 I'm going to do. This is um, color G. Wow, you guys, this has been crazy for me. I think I might need new putty. Yep, I need new putty. My putty is dried out. <laughs> yeah, Creations Moran gave me this putty. Um, no, I bought this putty, but she gave me uh, a multi-pack of putty that is in um, like Christmas smells, seasonal smells. So I was using that last time. But I think it's downstairs, because I have a diamond painting going downstairs too, Winter Welcome. It's downstairs, and I think I took my cranberry putty down there with me. Let's try this one. Uh, nope, I can't try that one. That one's a prize. I guess... I'm going to try Cinnabon. Yum. This is from Creation Born. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it's so delicious. I didn't need very much. It's pretty sticky. I'm going to put it in my five placer. I think my other pen is still good. That smells really good. I love food. <laughs> like, I just love food. You know what happened? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I mentioned it last time or not, but I got to go back to Costco because they have cinnamons out, which I only buy at Christmas, right? And they are just amazing. And then they also have these white chocolate shortbread cranberry cookies. So I don't have to cook and they are so good. And I even put them in the freezer. I guess when I was a kid, my mom used to make all kinds of baking and we would rob the baking out of the freezer. <laughs> So she would make everything and freeze it ahead of time. So I'm used to it being frozen. Oh, they're so good. And my son said, oh, well, mom, why, why is the shortbread in the freezer? I'm like, well, so we don't eat it as fast. It's got to last till Christmas. Well, no, it's gone. We all liked it way too much. Now I have to go get some more, but I think I'm going to wait until, um, Probably next weekend because my waistline does not need shortbread right now because it's pretty early. And I'm procrastinating about Christmas. Oh, now you see, I did I didn't get my plastic cut quite quite right here. Where is my cutter? Here's my pen that I got from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. Little clay cutter. And I need my ruler. I didn't quite trim this quite right because I moved my release papers. These are from Bee's Crafty Corner on Etsy and they are super thick and awesome. Bee is also a, a um, sponsor for the event and there will be a gift card for her shop coming up which is super exciting. I just love these release papers. I really like this pen. It's the first time I've used it. <clears throat> so I did get a pack package from Tima and um, maybe I'll show it to you in a little bit once we do some of this. And I have just been having the best time um, baking trinket trays and I'm expanding into other things as well. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I can't buy all the things I want to buy, but you know, that's just normal, right? For life, but I'm not working, so I can only buy so many things. And uh, basically I told everybody I want glitter for Christmas. <laughs> Send me glitter. Send me really cool holographic glitter. Right now I'm on the hunt for black metallic um, mica powder. 
I have found like ivory and lamp black mica powder, but I want metallic black. So I actually may have to figure out how to make that. Um, <clears throat> it's not at Michael's, although I should check Michael's online. I went to Michael's and I bought the kid, the kid glare. I can't afford the fancy card baking glitter. Oh my gosh, that is so expensive. And I still think the kid glitter in there is expensive, but it's so pretty and it's such nice quality. Yeah, I don't want to buy junk. But um, it is being mixed in for the most part. Here, and you can see I'm mixing in like this tray. I don't know if you could see that. This tray looks like broken ice. And you see how I did clear and then I did layers of blue around the outside with silver flecks and it looks like a hole in the ice with the giant snowflake and then I put blue sapphire type crystals on top and they're actual crystals they're glass not resin yeah so uh, that was like amazing creation when it came out I just love it it's been so much fun I am gonna launch my shop really soon but I think I'm gonna to continue to put special trays into my group first so they get first dibs at it. So you know, it's kind of like, you know, you guys are special to me. So I wanna show how special you are by putting in these extra cool trays when I have them. And I'm thinking about ideas too for the, I think I have too much putty on my pen. I'm thinking about ideas for the J wall tray too that I'm gonna be creating. It's gonna be a custom tray done for the Josephine Wall event. And if you're an eventer and you're having a bigger event, like I'm just me and I'm figuring this out because I would need some notice. But if you have like a rainbow event, I would love to make these. <laughs> and you know, I am interested in sponsoring events. I just have to start out small. I'm going to be sponsoring um, Alyssa's event in licensed, uh, DP Canada. There's a diamond paint along that has started. Actually, speaking of that, I need to put my Joelle McIntyre in the start post because I completely baked on that. Totally forgot. Because I'm definitely in that event. You know, to support each other. Now, what is on that that is making that not stick? That's kind of strange. It doesn't normally happen. Hmm. strange yeah so oh I'm just loving this smell I can't it's gonna make me hungry it's making me think of going to Costco and buying Cinnabons my mom had you know those cinna cook cinnamon roll cookies I know they're from like the 60s I remember them from when I was a kid they're like peak frames we get peak frames here in Canada and she again had them in the freezer and got them out when I popped over with my husband for coffee to her house on the weekend. Oh, those were so good. I hadn't had them in God. It has to have been, I got to figure 20 years because I don't buy cookies very often. I don't really buy them. Or at least I don't buy ones that I'm going to eat. How about that? <laughs> I buy cookies that my husband and son will eat when they want them. But I don't buy them for me. <laughs> So that would be a me cookie. I love those. And and Superstore has these chocolate, decadent chocolate cookies. <gasps> they're called President's Choice brand. The chocolate in there is so good and they're not very expensive. They're like deadly to bring to my house. Absolutely deadly. Let's see. So this section doesn't have any crystals in it, I guess because I replaced like symbols out. So I have pineapple glow glass in here or white opal glow glass. And I have yellow, I think Tima calls this pineapple glow glass. And I have pink, these really cool pink sparklers. And what else do I have? There was another one I put in, I put in four and I forgot one last week and now I can't remember what it was. Do, do, do. Was it blue? No. 
It's white. Here we go, white. Oh, and I put in some other regular resin crystals here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pulled them out because I wanted to. Oh, I'm going to put some, I'm not going to put, I'm not switching out all of the number four white ABs for opal crystals because I won't have enough. I will run out. I don't think I ordered any with my order. Do you guys want to see my order from DP with Sparklers? I have it sitting here. Maybe I should show you that. Yeah, let's do that for a quick sec. What did I get? I didn't even remember. It's all kind of loose in the bag. Oh yes, I got round crystal 80s. That's what I got. I got 963, 745, and 703. I got some more 3846. And some really pretty 209 square. ABs. I used a ton of these in my J-Wall kit. And 150 frosted AB squares. I use those a lot. And then I got, well, that's interesting. These are 550, but they do not look like 550 with coating on top. They look really blue. Look. Interesting. Maybe I picked the wrong ones. Yeah, but they're still really pretty. They're just covered in coating. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the purple under there when the light shifts. But yeah, that's basically what I got. And uh, yeah, so that was great. And she is sponsoring this event as well. So thank you very much. And there are more sponsors as well. I don't have the list in front of me, so they will all be down below here in the description but let's get back to talking about food like i'm hungry for lunch so i was making trays for my new shop so i can actually have something to put in there because everything i make i've been silly i've been feeling so 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 lucky with that because it's not very often that a creative person opens a shop and people just buy straight on faith. I mean, really, when you think about it, um, I just feel really lucky because how do you know what the quality in my trays are? I mean, they're solid, but you wouldn't know that till you see one or somebody else opens one. So Deb has one coming and she'll open it on her channel. And I've sent out a few like, well, I've, 12 or 14 trays I've sold now in 10 days. And it all started off with this tray that I ordered in Canada and it didn't have enough glitter for me. I got this one because I couldn't order from anybody in the States. And this says, do not ship to Canada. And if you know anything about shipping to Canada, this probably would have cost $20 US to send me. Because I know my order from Diamond Painting with Sparklers always cost me $15, which is over $20 Canadian, right? So $25 US is $35 Canadian. It's probably the same price as the tray. So it's becoming unaffordable right now. We need the oil, oil and gas prices to uh, flip back a little bit so we have some more equity going on. But right now our dollar is just, it's, it's a piece of crap. The exporters like it, but our inflation is, it's not being helped by the increase in the interest rates plus the dollar. So I'm not going to get into that and talk about economics because this is fun. You guys are here to relax. You're here to relax. So I'm going to relax and not think about that. And not think about that, but I do have that giveaway coming up today. And I'm still promising to do a giveaway for my 1,500 subscribers because I appreciate every single one of you. I just cannot decide what to give away. I have so many choices. You know, um, that's the problem. And there's so many things going on with the event right now. I don't want it to get buried in the event stuff. But my giveaway will be open to anyone who participates on my video when I release it. So that'll be coming up, I promise, promise. 
and yeah you know it's really interesting I have um well I just don't know what to give away I actually just have so many things that I could do and um yeah I'm just not sure I gotta look and see what other people have done Last time I hit a thousand earlier last year, earlier, earlier in 2023. Okay, it's not last year yet. It's still 2023. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Pretty soon I'll pretend I've already had my birthday, but my birthday is not until the beginning of January. Then I'll start. Yeah, now that I've had my birthday, well, no, you didn't actually have your birthday yet. It's not for like another month. So don't age yourself. Anyway, um, Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. But this putty is smelling awesome. Just awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yum. I wonder if kids ever eat putty because it smells good. You know what I mean? I wonder if that's ever happened. I doubt that it's toxic, but I just wonder. Like if you have a kid, would they have they ever eaten your putty? Can you let me know? I would like to know that. <laughs> In fact, this week's word is going to be putty. So that's a good word to use in a comment down below. And what am I giving away this week, guys, for the event? Let me open my, my worksheet here. I've got a shared workbook with Deb, the Crafty Diamond. Make sure you guys go over there and enter hers too, because she's giving away cool stuff over there too. We're like so, so lucky. And I, and I really mean it. I, I am so thankful you guys. I'm almost, that you guys are buying my stuff is like a dream. I know it sounds really corny, but it's actually the truth. It's my dream to sell my art. And I was gonna do portraiture art, but now I'm heading into starting with trinket trays and I'll be expanding into some um, art things as well and some other diamond painting supplies in the new year. Um, let me see. So this week prize, where did my list go? Deb, what did I do to the list? Okay. <gasps> so this week, the draw I'm going to do today is for a 29 color resin AB square pack from Francesca's Studio Works. And I'll throw another picture of that up during the draw so you can see it. It's fabulous. That is a US only prize because she has just been rolling out her shop in the last 60 days and isn't exporting from the US yet, but she will be. And next week I am giving away a, a pen. The question is, which pen will I give away? So you guys, comment below. And I don't know which pen I might give away. It could be the Creation Stobel pens, one of those. It could be the Crafted Makes pen. It could be the Surprise pen from um, Creations Moran. Hmm, I'm not sure which one it's going to be. I have to think about it. They're all so pretty. <laughs> They're all so pretty. And, you know, um, Kokisha Warren, she helped organize the pens from Creations Do Bell. And she donated the blanks that were turned for the pens on Deb's channel that were turned by Laven Mysteries. So thank you so much, Kohisha, for that and for sponsoring the event. It really, really means a lot. Like she found out I almost had, we almost had virtually like no sponsors right before the event and she came to the rescue. Yeah, she was just awesome. So I hope I can sponsor Breaking the Silence next year with my trays. I have to talk to her about that. So Kohisha, if you're listening, I want to do an event tray for you. And we need to talk about that. So I don't think you had any trinket trays in your giveaways for your event. 
So that gives me lots of time to make a beautiful purple tray for the event. Let's do these, you guys. Let's do these. Um, now, do I want to do this, though? Let's think about it for one sec. So there's the butterfly that I want to stay sparkled. This, this is going to be white ABs. This is not going to be... Um, yeah, that'll be white ABs, and these number ones are pink. Where did my pink ones go? I just misplaced them. Oh, right, and I didn't, yeah, I told you, I'm going to give away a pen this week. And make sure you go check out Dad's giveaway, because I'm pretty sure this is our super amazing week, and you guys need to be in the Facebook group. All you have to do is post your start post and fill in the Google form, and you're in. Because every time I draw or Deb draws, we go check our, our list to make sure you've done those two things. We don't require progress, but it's super awesome if you want to share. We've got a lot of people that have finished off some whips and are adding bling to their whips and they're getting their whips done. They're switching back and forth between two canvases because you can do that too. You just have to fill in two Google Docs. It's not a big deal. Just no horror or blood because this is a happy event. See my little cover minder guy? This is from L Charms. Now she's not an event, but she's a superhuman being. And she sent, I got these from off her shop. Aren't they just so cute? I wanna help her out because she just started her little cover minder shop. So please go check her out. She just does such a beautiful little job. There's good magnets on there and everything. I shouted her out last week, and I hope you guys went over there and popped in to see her cutie beauty duty things. Look at that little, I'm going to have to put that little rainbow guy here too, because he's just so cute. Yeah, L Charms, E-L-L-E -L -L -E Charms. And I'm pretty sure she's shipping everywhere, because Etsy's pretty wide open. Let's see, next color is F. So then there's the subject. Yeah, I'm gonna do F first so I don't stick my hand in the glue. I'm gonna do F, H, and E. H, F, and E. Where is E? Is E3807? Nope. Because I lost my sticker off 3807. Because <laughs> I cut my stickers wrong when I kid it up. Um, do, do, do. I can't find the letter E. Color is E. E is. It's a good thing I have fairly transparent washi tape so I can see through. What color is E? E is pink. 3607. Oh, really? I don't need reminders right now. Okay. Yeah. So let's do E first. I just need a couple of those down here. So yeah, the giveaway word this week is putty because I'm loving the smell of this putty. And that's those. These drills are a little staticky. I never put dryer sheets in here because these are the old acrylic drills from uh, Diamond Art Club. But I do find they're sticking to all my trays. It doesn't matter what tray I use. You know, I'm going to try this one just because it's super bright and happy. When I, I'm going to use H or F. F. Mm-hmm. And I think we're going to pop across right now before I do this color and I am going to do the draw. See you over there. Hey guys, it's Angie. Here we are. Here we are at my video screen for my channel. And if you guys don't know, I'm going live on Wednesdays at 5 Eastern or 2 p.m. PST, which I think would then be, no, I'm going 2 p.m. PST, which is 5 Eastern. So Eastern's three hours ahead of me. Right. 
So yeah, you can see all my lives here. And then I've decided I think I'm going to keep going live. So I'm having so much fun. Oops. <laughs> if it the auto plays. So we need to go into my videos and get the link. And so we'll grab that. And share, copy link. Go over to the YouTube random comment picker. Paste that in. Just a second. I just want to see how many comments were in there. Pause Click. it. And yeah, 32 comments. Yeah, looks good. So over here, the word, the filter is going to be a keyword filter for the word star. Okay. So let's see how many people entered. 32, 23 comments of 32. Wow, that's really good odds, you guys. One out of 23 chance to win, as long as you've got all your posts in. Are you ready? Let's go, pick a winner. Kimmy, Queen Kimmy. Kimmy has a diamond painting channel, you guys. If you haven't been to her channel, I'll throw her link down below. Her comment says, my favorite part of Christmas is putting the star on top of the tree. Oh, that's so awesome, Kimmy. I have, I change my topper all the time. What do you guys do? So congratulations, Kimmy. I will connect you with Francesca at Francesca Studio Works. And she will send you your prize of 29 AB square resin drills they're just beautiful and i'll throw a picture of them up here so you can see them again and you guys are welcome to go and check those out and she sells ab drills and resin drills on her site as well as selling diamond paintings so please go and check that out and congratulations kimmy so congratulations kimmy you've won the package of ab's Oh, I mean, they're so good. They're all sticking together. Let's put him over here. He's super cute. Little rainbow cloud guy. So, yeah. And I just got to think about which pen I want to give away this week, you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops. I don't have my music on. Because if I record... My screen while my music is on. Apparently it's too close to my speaker, so it's like super loud. So I don't want to be annoying. Yeah. So are you guys in any events this month? I hope that you're like, you know, entering more than one event. I we don't mind if you're in more than one event to participate here. We would love to have you. We have lots of, like I said, lots coming up. And we want to share it around with as many people as we can. Oops. If you're in the Randall Spangler event, I don't know if that one's over. You can enter here too. You just have to add an AB or something to it. Yeah. So come on over. Join the party. And it's a party, I'm telling you. Come on Wednesday night or Wednesday afternoon, depending on your time zone, and join the live. We have a lot of fun chit-chatting in there. Usually, somehow my dogs end up on it. Because I just love my dogs. Love my dogs. My dog is giving me a hard time. My kisses. Well, I don't know if she's giving me a hard... Me specifically a hard time. She's having a hard time. Yep. She's refusing to take her pill pockets with her heart meds in it. And she started having some accidents in the hallway. So I am like really stressed out because, you know, that's not a good sign. But she ate her dinner last night. And as long as she's eating and she's not suffering, obviously suffering, I'll just have to make her take her pills. And she hates her medication. She has to take, um, like, it's like morphine for dogs. So she... Uh, doesn't cough and um, it's really hard on her. Do I want to put pink down here or should I put pink ABs in here? 
Now, I don't think I'm gonna put the pink crystals in here, but aren't they something? Those are just fantastic. I love that color, that my favorite. They're light pink AB. They're light rose AB. Anyways, yeah. Super pretty. Um, let's do H's instead, so I don't stick my finger in the H glue. And I need some more coffee, and luck would have it. Did I bring my coffee pot up? Oh no, I didn't bring my coffee pot up. Oh. Well, I'm gonna finish the H's, because we have a couple more things we have to talk about. So I was gonna talk to you guys about Christmas procrastination. I am procrastinating. It doesn't feel like Christmas is coming. You know, I have the Christmas release paper sitting in front of me. I have, you know, I see the ads. I hear of everyone else getting ready and I don't know why. Is it because I'm home and not working that I feel like that? Is it because my grandma's not here? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I'm not sad. I know I probably will be around Christmas a little sad, but um, it's not that. I don't know what it is. I'm usually the person that has their stuff up like fast. So I think we're gonna put up our tree next weekend. And the rule in our house, well, okay, a rule, like who makes the rules? We do. <laughs> Um, is that the Christmas tree has to be down before my birthday because my birthday is January the 6th and I don't do Christmas on my birthday. I had to do that my whole life growing up and pre Ukrainian Orthodox Christmas was on, is Christmas Eve is January the 6th and I am not doing it anymore because I don't have to. So that was my stepfather's uh, family and I do not really associate with them. I associate with my sisters from the family, but not with anybody else. I don't see anybody. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Looks like my paper might have ripped crooked there so I could put in um, my H's up there. But yeah, I, I don't know why I'm not a, like all about the Christmas. Maybe it's because I'm into the resin and making the pretty trays. But I guess, I guess if I'm making trays with snowflakes. That's kind of Christmassy, right? Like I'm, I'm still there. I'm just usually the person that has a, a 12 foot tree. I have a 12 foot tree in my little house because I have a vaulted ceiling in my living room. The house was built in um, the early 80s. It's like a row house. It has like a what's called a clear cedar ceiling. So it's cedar strips that you can't even buy them anymore. They're just such high end now that you can't really get that. So I'm probably one of the only houses in the neighborhood that hasn't painted over them because it would be absolutely criminal to do that because they are, you know, like wood is a natural resource and it's, it's, it's limited, right? Like you don't cut down big cedars and make those strips anymore. And if they do, the average Joe is not going to be able to afford that, I don't think. So, yeah, we have that cedar strip above our our retro fireplace. And I like my fireplace. It's it's stone with a black thing, and it's people would say, "Why don't you change it to ultra modern?" Well, because it's a real fireplace, and I could never remove the paint. Once it's painted, it never goes back. And you'll be sorry just like <laughs> scrunchies are back I can't believe it <laughs> I think I was still throwing out scrunchies like five years ago because the last six were shot and I found them in my drawer I'm like I don't need these scrunchies I probably had some black and white ones or whatever because they used to be super comfortable because I had long spiral permed hair down in my butt when I was um, in the 80s and 90s it's a spiral perm and uh, had really nice hair. But yeah, the scrunchies were good because they didn't break my hair. And uh, yeah, 
Oh my God, I remember sitting and getting a perm. Oh, it would take so long. You would be there for the entire day to get a spiral perm on long hair. Not just a perm, a spiral perm. Not the same thing for anybody that knows. If you know, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I never had any money when I was when I was young. I had a job and I'd have to save up to get my hair hair done. I had two skirts and three tops and I went to work right out of high school in an office downtown pretty much. So yeah. Yeah, I never had money. People are saying, "Well, young people don't have money." Well, I never really had money when I was growing, when I was young either. I don't know. It's so hard though because I think, um, like, we didn't have cell phone bills and all of that. But you can't not have a cell phone. You can't function anymore without one. It's not like a lifestyle choice to have one of those. So I don't know. Yeah, that's like an extra expense. And then if you had to date, oh my gosh, I was listening to the radio and they were saying that people in Vancouver, I don't know all of people, but like general comment, they did a survey that dating here is costing people $3,500 a year if you're single. I'm like, holy smokes, that's a lot of dough. I could, I could never have afforded that when I was working and having to pay rent and buy groceries. And I had a decent job. Oh my God. I'm like, that is nuts. That's a lot of dates or a couple really expensive ones, right? Like, wow. Wow. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Going out on dates is, can be fun, but it's also can be really painful. <laughs> I remember some. Oh my gosh horrible okay guys well I think that's it for now because I need to go downstairs and check my trays don't forget to put your comment down below to win a diamond painting pen that I'll surprise you with next week when I tell you which one it's going to be and I'll get it out to you as soon as I can and maybe there'll be a couple other little things in with it you never know so that word was putty p-u-t-t-y Diamond painting, yummy putty, like this Cinnabon. Oh, it smells so good. I just had so much fun hanging out with you today. I hope I see you guys Wednesday. And I'll be getting out another video really soon about my giveaway. As soon as I can quit being indecisive and decide what I'm going to give away. <laughs> it's so much fun to give things away. Bye for now. Please like and subscribe if you had fun being here and you enjoyed my content. Liking is absolutely free, subscribing is free, and it really helps us creators out, and I could really use that boost these days. So take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!